Hello and welcome to a look at Duotris for the Commodore 64. Tetris is a game type that most people should be familiar with. The foundation of the game is extremely simple. You have uh, different pieces of various different sizes and shapes that you will have to uh, line up and create lines, complete lines, using the pieces. The pieces you get are random, or depending on the game, uh, more or less random. Some uh, games has a very set um, spawn of the different pieces, but uh, the aim is to create lines. And once you create a line, it will disappear and make room for more lines. And usually the games of this type, they have some sort of reward for when you create three or four lines. Um, if you create four lines, that is where the name Tetris comes from. Uh, that is the definition of a Tetris. Um, I can't remember whether it's three lines in this one or it's only four lines, but uh, you get an option to choose the next piece. If you look at the, the interface, it's relatively simple. In the top left corner, there is a next box which will show which piece is coming down next, and you underneath have your score and then uh, how many lines you have uh, completed. The same is the case for the second player in case you're playing a two-player game, but we'll know about that in a moment. As you can probably imagine from a game of this type, as you will create more lines, you will find that the game's speed increases until it gets to a point where you have to um, get the different blocks in position very, very quickly. Uh, the controls are very simple. You move the right and left to guide where the blocks are going, and then if you pull down, you will uh, send the block piece down immediately. And once you unlock an option to choose your own uh, or choose your next piece, you will have to push up in the joystick in order to uh, select the piece, and then uh, press a fire button to rotate the different pieces. Now, of course, I am playing this game by myself, so I can only showcase the one-player mode. But you can you have two different options for a two-player game. You can either play against each other and the score composition, basically. Or you can play as a team, where it removes the sense of barrier and both players have to uh, work together in order to create lines. Which is actually quite enjoyable, but... Uh, you need to know how the other player is thinking so you can plan ahead. It's definitely a teamwork game type and once you nail it down, it can be super super enjoyable. It can be enjoyable either way, but um, you get the most out of it when you play with someone who you know will do things to help the situation and not to make it worse. From a graphical point of view, I have seen some different variations of Tetris over the years and some of them are extremely basic and some of them are extremely over the top, completely unnecessarily uh, devised graphically. The graphical style used in this version is perfectly adequate, uh, not necessarily spectacular, but it serves the purpose it needs to serve and as such is quite uh, functional. It's definitely, I mean, it's not bad, it just doesn't look ugly in any way, shape or form, but I mean, if you can get square, square blocks to look ugly, then you are having a graphical issue. I'm no graphical artist, I could probably make a square block look ugly, but um, you know what I mean. What, of course, which should be fairly obvious is, is very specifically interesting about this game, outside of the two-player mode and the two-player team mode, which at the time wasn't necessarily super common for Tetris games, is the music. Um, my brother and I, we used to play this uh, quite a lot, and uh, the music is absolutely excellent. The title track is uh, great, and the in-game music is absolutely amazing. Uh, it is definitely overall one of my favorite Commodore 64 soundtracks, which is uh, quite a thing to say, because there's an overall lot of good sit the soundtracks. 
I have never denied that, that even though the Amiga remains my favorite home review of all time, I've always respected and enjoyed many a set track, and this is definitely a very, very high quality one. The game comes on an inbuilt high score saver, and uh, it is nice that you can keep track of your scores and try to improve and all that stuff. And uh, Tetris, being Tetris, it is a very relaxing kind of game. Well, to a certain point, once you get to a certain level, it becomes extremely stressful. But it is definitely a casual game, and um, I was happy to find that there are speed ones of um, Tetris games happening. Because a lot of these kind of games, they have potentially been given a bad rep because, or a bad rap, whatever you call it, because of their native simplicity. But as I've been saying plenty of times before, simplicity doesn't necessarily mean something is bad, it just means that it doesn't require um, superhuman abilities in order to play the games. But when you see some speedruns, um, it is absolutely spectacular to watch certain of the players hammering the highest difficulty levels where the bricks are, or the block pieces, whatever, are coming down at a staggering pace. It's absolutely amazing. So as a casual game, it is casual um, as much as you want it to be. It's definitely a very relaxing game where you can just sit back and enjoy it and in the case of this specific version, enjoy the music, and uh, if you have someone to play with or against, it definitely enhances the experience. I will let this video play out, but there's not an awful lot left for me to say, because uh, you, can only talk, you can only talk so much about Tetris, and uh, I think, uh, hopefully at least, I, my commentary has done this version justice. If you... Uh, have it available and you have someone to play with, it is highly recommended. It is very very enjoyable and can be agitating if you're playing with someone who has no clue as to how to create full lines or find them using to show uh, the proverbial spammer in the works. So on that note I'm going to finish the comments over here and let the video run out and say uh, thanks for watching, take care, see you next time. Bye bye.